Hi people, this is Miss Ventures again, Kama Kawaida. So today I have a very, very common recipe, but a bit tricky if you are not seen. So today I'm going to do pilau, common pilau. Don't worry about the spices and all the necessities that you need. So what I'm gonna need, remember I'm going to do a very, very nice pilau. And you know, pilau is the taste. Yani, arufu na pilau ambayo ijashikana, yani maachana, you know. So, this is the kind of rice that I use when I'm doing my pilau. I like this, the what, the one that has a blue cover. Or sometimes I do CIL, the one that has a, some bluish somewhere. So, that's what I'm gonna eat. That's the main thing. And then this is just boiled meat. You can see I just boiled to save on time. Then I'm gonna need salt. And then I have some spices. I have some paprika. I'll explain why I have paprika here. Don't you worry. Then I have pilau masala. I have some turmeric here. Don't worry. I'll explain. I'll explain. I'll explain. And then. I have some chopped garlic and onions, chopped garlic, onion, and then I have the capsicum, I have some, some gojet here, and then I have tomatoes, and when you look at my tomatoes, I dipped in hot water, I removed the skin, so they are skinless, you know, so, and then there is cooking oil, the mafuta, and then, um, that's it, and my sufuria is just here. So that is what I don't have is the soy sauce, and then I also don't have the, the what? I don't have the tomato paste. So why do I not have those things? I don't have those things. It is not that I don't have per se, but it's intentionally so that uh, some people have approached me how to do nice pilau and all that. That's why I chose, and sometimes it is the spices and all that you need that prevents people from doing the recipe that they want to do. So I just want to show people that you can still do nice pilau even without the soy sauce, even without the tomato paste. Instead of using the tomato paste, I'm just replacing it with the, a lot, a lot of tomatoes, real, real tomatoes. Actually, tomato paste is just tomatoes, but with a few chemicals. You know, and another way of doing it is to, to, to do some water and then you cook, cook, cook the same, same tomato that has no skin and you still get the paste anyways. All right, I'm sure you've learned something. And then, and then for the, once you have the masala, you are good to go. Then for the, it's called what? For the sauces, you don't have, you don't really have to have that. So for the color, I'll get some paprika. So it will still add some, it will still give me some color. And then when I'll be frying, you'll see the brown, the brownness coming. So you don't have to worry. And so without further ado, let's get started. So I'll go right away and light my, my meko. So after I'm done with lighting my meko, so I'll pour the, the, the kitungu here. First of all, I'll start with the meat. So I'll start with the meat. So, so when you look at this uh, pan, when you look at what I'm doing, so I put my meat here, everything is in here. I'm sure you can see. So what I normally do, I don't complicate. Just put all the contents here. Uh, I start with onion first, and then I'll add, I'll add the other ones after some minutes. So I'm just putting... First of all, the onions and the garlic. 
put onions and the garlic. So I put everything in here. In here. In here like this for some time before I add those other things. So that's what I do. Then remember, I don't want to forget about the salt. So I also do the salt at this at this point. That's all. That's it. I just continue doing this and then maybe what I need is to cover cover for like a few minutes to turn a bit like that as I continue to stir So after cooking for some time, now I'm just adding everything in here. Just add everything in, in here. Remember for now, the contents are still cooking. So I've not put anything like masala apart from the, the salt. You see? So I just want these things to be well cooked first before I do my masala. When you do your masala, at an initial stage, what happens is that they, everything gets stuck on the rear. They start getting burnt. So you will not get, you will not achieve some nice, 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 nice um, So you give it time for them to be cooked first before you add. So I'll simmer for some time. If the heat is too much, you reduce at this point. Um, what I'm going to do is to put now the spices. Just put some masala here. Put some masala. So I put as I check the level of brownness. I'll just add some more. like that and then you know i'm also after the color the nice color so I'll, I'll i'll put some a bit of paprika just a bit remember my target is to achieve a very nice color of the pillow so i'll put some bit of Paprika. Remember, I did lots of onions because I didn't have the tomato paste. And then I'll still do some some curry, a bit of it, a bit of some oh some some turmeric, not curry, some turmeric. So when you look at this, there is some level of coloredness. So what I'm gonna do is to I want to make sure that my content does get burnt. So I just reduce the heat and I simmer for more for the next like uh, three minutes before I add water and put my rice. So that's it. So I simmer for the next three minutes. Then I add water. So at this time, you can see how this sufuria looks like inside. So I'll just put my water from the side. To put from the side. 
from the side. Kyoshe nyama, ikwe tasteless. So, so I just put from the side, 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 all the way. So I've done six of them because I've done three of the rice. So I just washed my rice. It's here waiting to be dipped in there. So what I'll do, I'll just cover. I've increased the heat so that it doesn't take long to boil, to bring it to a boil. So, my water is boiling, so I just put the rice inside, just do this. I just put the rice in here. All the rice, put the rice in here, no wasting, no wasting. Right, so like that, you can see the color. The color is just there, remember, no, no soy sauce, no tomato paste. Simple. So I just cover, then I'll reduce the heat. I'll reduce the heat, I'll reduce the heat. Just reduce the heat a bit. Yes. All right. So my pilau is ready. My pilau is ready. As you can see, so I'm just going to serve and then you will be able to have a look at it, at it nicely. Right, so I'm done with my pilau. Hey. Yeah, you can't believe it. No soy sauce. No tomato paste. And now my final product is here. This is my pilau, guys. This is my pilau. Very, very nice. Very, 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 very nice pilau. Uh, I'm sure you learned one or two things. This is how it is. It is. This is how it is. I just kinda eco sour cups. Uh huh. I'm sure you can see well. So come on, kawaida. Please subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. Thank you for your time. For the ones who already subscribed, thank you so so much. If you've not, please. I smash the subscription button, the red button, subscribe to this channel as you support me so that I may continue with this noble course. Watch my videos, like them, share them as well. And give your comment, Kamakawaida, so that I may know what you think about. Until, uh, until next time, as I do the next video, 
Bye-bye. And thanks for watching. Bye-bye.